Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just put together a quick video to show you how to test and replace the glow plugs on this 2008 Honda CRV. It's the 2.2 diesel. Just as the weather's got a bit colder, this one's starting to start a bit badly in the mornings. So we're just going to test the glow plugs. We'll run you through how to do that and then how to replace them if it needs any replacing. So the first thing we're going to do is just take this top cover off. Really straightforward. Just need a 10mm socket. There's four of these nuts to get off. And if you check the links in the description below, I'll put links to the, the glow plugs, the part numbers where you can get them from. And I'll put links to all the tools that we're using as well. So we'll just get this cover off for now and get started. Right, so now that the cover's off, you can just see the glow plugs. We've just got number one there, two is just tucked down there, three just hidden a little bit there, and number four's there. And these are quite straightforward ones to get off. They've got a nice little lug either side of them, so you just get your fingers in there and just pop them off. Just see the glow plug there, so we'll just pop them all off quick, and then we'll just run you through how to test them. Right, so we've just got the multimeter out ready to test them now we can test them in situ we've got the multimeter we've got it on the resistance setting so we're just going to test them for resistance i'll just show you on a new glow plug how we're going to test it, it might be a little bit easier to show you while i've got it in my hand here um, but we can test them while they're still in the car without taking them out so i'll just run you through that quickly and basically all we need to do we're just looking to put one end of the multimeter on the body of the glow plug and then one on the tip there and you can just say we've got continuity with that any glow plug really wants to be less than it's going to be ideal if it's obviously reading the same as that but any glow plug doesn't really want to have more than six ohms of resistance on it anything more than five or six ohms it wants to replace and, and if it hasn't got no continuity at all it means it's basically open circuit so the glow plug's completely dead so we'll just test all them now and just show you the outcome so you can just see we've just got that one on the actual body of the glow plug and then we're just going to touch the tip And see that one's only got three ohms on it there's a good glow plug there number one number two's same there a little bit better a bit lower resistance on that one A little bit tricky to hold it on that one, but you can see that's still a good one as well. And then the last one. And so we're just touching that there, and we've got nothing at all on that one. There's no resistance through it, so it's a completely dead glow plug, that one. So all the first three are okay. It well, looks like number four is going to want replacing, so we'll just run you through quickly how to replace that. Right, so we've just got a socket ready to get it out and now these glow plugs are a 12 mil so you've got a 12 mil deep socket just so you can go over the head of the glow plug as well and um, just a little bit of extension uh, just with a little bit of an extension on it so we're just going to crack that off now and wind it out now you do need to be careful with glow plugs these ones with the 12 mil heads on them aren't too bad they're fairly beefy um, but if they you just need to be a bit careful if they're quite tight you definitely don't want to be snapping them off but just get a you don't need to have a really big bar on it and anything you'll just sort of feel if it's too tight but normally on these ondas they do come out okay so we'll just have a go at getting it out now just get that swapped over and just run you through the torque setting as well so i just feel like cracked off really nice and easily um, but yeah if they're really tight you want to be careful and just consider whether you are going to risk obviously taking it out or not if you think it's going to snap there are ways to repair them if they do snap but they can be a bit tricky sometimes
and that's the old plug out. And we'll just get the new one in, just wind it in gently finger tight, and then we'll just run you through the torque setting. Right, so the torque setting is 18 newton meters. Now, if you're not using the torque wrench, 18, 18 newton meters isn't that much. Just a bit more than a sort of light nip, really. Right, so that's all nicely torqued up now. And we'll just test it again quickly, just to just show you the reading on it now. Obviously that's a new one there, but you can just see that's the same as the others there. Just over two, two and a half ohms there. So obviously it's a brand new one, so as it should be. Um, but yeah, that's the glow plug replacement. As you can see, quite a straightforward job. All we'll have to do now is just put the cover on, just nip them 10 mils back up and uh, jobs are good. And we'll just see how it starts in the morning. But yeah, I hope the video helped. If it did, give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to check out any of the tools that she used, the glow plugs or the multimeter or anything like that, digital torque wrench, just check the description below. I'll put links in there as well. But yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.